hey guys so today we are going to make propellers so let's get started so go to create create sketch select a plane on which you want to draw now go to circle make a circle of diameter 25 mm finish the sketch now we have to extrude this profile so go to extrude now we can drag that arrow in either direction in which we want to extrude so let's give it a length of 30 mm now select the surface right click on it and go to create sketch now we are going to make a circle of diameter 75 mm now we are going to make some construction line so go to line now draw two lines select the line right click on it and go to construction we can press x for construction also now go to smart dimension and make those two lines at a degree of 30 degree to each other now we are going to make a first fan blade for this we have to make two lines so draw two random lines now we are going to add some constraints to these two lines so go to equal select those two lines go to parallel select those two lines now what we are going to do is we are going to make those two lines symmetric about that construction line select the end point of those two lines select that construction lines and here it goes so those two lines are symmetric about that construction line now we can press D for smart dimension and select those two lines and give it a width of 1 mm we are going to make our fan blade of width 1 mm finish the sketch so now we are going to create a sketch on the back side so select that back surface right click on it and go to create sketch so now what we are going to do is we are going to project that above circle and that construction line to the back so press p select the circle select construction line and ok so instead of creating the circle and construction line again we got it now we are going to make two lines so draw two line now we are going to add some constraint to those two lines select symmetric select the end point of those two lines select the construction line and ok press D for smart dimension select those two lines and give it a width of 1 mm so here we got our two profiles so now what we are going to do is we are going to loft those two profiles so go to create and select loft select the profiles and in the operation go to joint okay so here we got a first fan blade so how it looks so now go to that loft feature edit feature in that connected option go to direction we can pull the arrow in either direction we can pull the arrow in front or back press ok cool so here we got a first fan blade now let's have a look at it now 
we are going to add fillet to the edges so go to fillet select those two edges and give it a fillet of 2 mm press ok so here we got our first fan blade so now instead of creating the rest of the blades we are going to use that pattern feature so go to create select pattern and go to circular pattern in the timeline below go to loft and go to fillet and in the pattern type go to features for the axis we can select the outer axis of that fan blade so just give it the number of blades we want to make and press ok so here we got our fan blades so this is how propeller will look now select the front surface right click on it and go to create sketch go to circle and let's make a circle of diameter 15 mm and now let's make another circle of diameter 7 mm now what we are going to do is we are going to extrude the profile between these two circles so we can press E for extrude select the profile so drag the arrow we are going to extrude it for minus 25 mm press ok so here we got it so this is how it will look so now what we can do is we can make a hole at the back for the shaft so let's go to the back surface and create a hole right click on it create sketch go to circle and let's make a circle of 6 mm diameter now we can press e for extrude select the profile and let's extrude it for a distance of minus 15 mm press ok so here we got our the final fan blade so it will look similar to this now we can add some physical material to it so go to modify physical material appearance so now go to metal and we can add any material to it so let's select any material drag it and drop it on that so if you like the video like share and comment and also subscribe to our channel thank you